custom hero arena defense. Select your hero, choose their abilities, survive waves of mobs, and battle it out in team battles. So all pick teams two. Thank you there, Dr. Draz. Arena four for the sub. Team mode one. Creeps, so we want to spawn 20. And we want 40 lives, and we want free arenas. Okay, let's get going. Choose team one. Go for my blade master. No! Demon Hunter, because he's got 1.5 attack speed and plus 3.9 agility. Oh my god. So good. Hopefully everyone's picked the right team. So six versus six. Now. We pop over to the passives, because you sit in a lane, you have to survive waves. And passives are strong, especially when your hero isn't going to be too dependent on mana, or you don't expect to be. A poison slows the uh, a poison attack that deals damage per second, slows the target's enemy movement speed and attack speed. Buff places do not stack. Hmm. Bash is tempting. Because it's extra damage. I went for Pulverize last time, but I'm not sure whether to change that up. Because I like Cleave, especially when there's more units. But the issue I have is if you're strong enough to kill the mobs, because they spawn one at a time every like three seconds, if you're quick enough to kill the mobs, you're never really going to get enough of them to surround you to make Cleave worthwhile. So focusing on just pinpoint attack could be stronger on single targets. Critical is a must. Vampiric Aura is probably a must, unless there's an item that gives Vampiric Aura. Lifesteal, there you go. You dare speak to me. So I've got my crit. I'm going to get the cleave as well, just in case. And then I've got one more gold to spend here. So that's between Bash, Pulverize, and Slow Poison. Bash beats out Slow Poison, in my opinion. I'm going with Bash, because I don't know if there's any bosses. Are there demons nearby? Crit, Cleave, and Bash. Is that all? Can't ask for too much more than that. Now this is tricky, because I haven't actually had a proper chance to look at the ultimates here that could suit my hero. Oh, there you go. 15% chance that when you attack, you will do a thunderclap, stunning and damaging enemy units. That's insane. That could be a really good pick, if that works. I'm always skeptical in these kind of custom hero arenas, whether certain abilities truly do stack with one another. You gather your hatred in a single blow. Deals an amount of your current life in damage. Sounds like an active ability. Multi shot is obviously good for rangers. Orb effects will cancel that out, which is an issue with it. I think I'm going with the uh, Fury. Thunder God. So I just got to get this dude a lot of attack speed, which shouldn't be too hard because he starts off with, he's already got 1.5 attack speed, and then he also gets 3.9 agility every um, level up. So his agility will get to such a point that he should be able to attack ridiculously quickly and get more of those procs. That can go up to 21% chance. That can go to only 2.5 times normal damage, which is less than normal melee. And Cleave is pretty high on the splash. I will go with crit to start off with. And then depending on how quickly I kill the mobs and how likely I am to be surrounded will depend on whether I'm going to go bash or cleave afterwards. So here we have the recipes. 
There's that lifesteal. But that's based on a strength hero. But still, it's lifesteal nonetheless. Spirit Axe, Mask of Death. Hello. Take your time. I grow impatient. Just about picked up the gloves of haste in time to make my hero attack even quicker. Oh yes. That's the attack speed we're after. So we've played this a couple of times and this is the final version of hopefully we get to show this map off to you because I got a fairy dragon. Did all random the first time we played this. And I repicked several times. <laughs> Ended up getting fairy dragon. Which wasn't very good. Chain lightning was nice. But I could only cast it once every like 11 seconds. And I ended up getting surrounded and killed, no matter how much I tried to move around the units that spawn. And there's 20 that spawn per level. So I'm killing these fast enough at the moment, which would dictate the cleaving attack isn't as strong as Bash. Because I would want to be surrounded by about 3 or 4 units if I wanted to benefit more from the cleave. So I'm going to opt for Bash and see whether that even procs. Alongside crit. I hope... Yep. There we go. I mean, that's awesome. It's a passive stun. So it saves me. Because I was thinking about getting, like, um, an active ability. Easily. 50 gold to random pick move for getting the first kills. Makes me wonder if I want to buy another glass of haste. Because that's all I can afford. But So I might be able to get an extra 50 gold at the end of it. Hmm. <gasps> Boost of Quill for last, though. It's not much more expensive. I'll probably start looking towards recipes, I think, early on in the game. That's Glove of House, Claws of Attack, and Boost of Speed. Hello. So, start off with the early stuff. Claws of Attack is out of my pay. Boost of Speed is out, so I need 800 gold. So, hopefully, next round, I might be able to get those two combined. There are potions in this game, but they don't seem... They seem pretty expensive. They're not like 100 gold for, you know, basic potions that can heal you up. It's 600 gold for a potion that gives health and mana. So, we are Team 1, these guys you see here. So when we get to an arena duel round, we should all be teamed up against these guys, theoretically. Oh, there we go, my arch nemesis. Seems to be killing them quite quickly. Oh, I've got another point. Should have put a point in there, never mind. I probably won't be the first to win anyway. Not on this level. Not sure, he's got crit. Not sure what else he's got. Maybe bash. I might actually end up losing this level. Looks like I will. Yeah. Down for the count. <laughs> it's getting a little bit hectic. Certain heroes might be better though. For the initial rounds. So if you have a summon, you're more likely to be able to handle. So some people go for an agility ranged hero with a bear to summon. Hopefully my hero comes back. It did eventually last time. I would go for a claws of attack. I wonder if you could spiral out of control though. And keep losing each level. Agility is still better than claws of attack plus nine. Although I, with the crit, maybe not so much. But I still think boost of quell for last is better. But it doesn't lead itself up to that item. And you always want to be trying to lead up towards a recipe item if you can help it. Easily. Cleave would have been more handy now. Because of me getting surrounded. So I could swap to Cleave now. We've got one point in Bash, so there's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. But yeah, there's no real cheap potions or anything to buy. They're all pretty expensive, really. Everything in here. I'm blind, not deaf. So you're better off going for something like Mask of Death for that lifesteal back. 
It's only a flesh wound. You dare speak to me. Hard Wait, what are you doing? Challenge. That's weird. Kind of just Die. went back on himself. I'll oh, have a level up soon. The idea is to kill him so quickly that I can't get too surrounded. This definitely looks like I'm going to die though. I'm not killing him quite quick enough. So you can see the splash going off there. Not a huge amount, but hopefully it makes enough of a difference that it saves me from having to do that extra attack. Looks so good so far, so I'm having a slightly easier time this round. Perhaps the claws are making a bigger difference than I thought. So what's random pick that we've got? Dwarven Sniper. Sword, a glass of haste, the bear. Are there demons nearby. All right. You so we'll go finish up our recipe. Me. Well, I think I still have to buy the recipe. I'm no, I don't actually. Just death. completing all the items completes the recipe for you, so that's handy. Don't have to come over here and spend gold on the recipe as well. I grow impatient. Boots of power. I'm not exactly sure how the movement speed is going to be too useful, except for maybe the arena level where we fight as a team, and I can get in and out of combat much quicker. Start to look towards the next recipe and go from there. Active Banish could be kind of handy to use on yourself to try to get some health back over time. Maybe? I'm not so sure about that. Armor Slice. That sounds good, because that sounds like Orb of Corruption. Extra damage, pure stats, and Armor Slice. I think I might lead towards that one next. I know you might be thinking, oh, why don't go straight for the Mask of Death? It's a good question. Depends. That might be better later on when I'm doing more damage, enough damage to suffice that I can get health back from my hits. So earlier on, I think I might go for Armor Slice. Cross over, to there demons Cross over into the light. These priests, they cast in a fire and they're also ranged. So I kind of want to fight them as close as possible to the spawn position so I can get the most out of Cleave here. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Priest ain't doing too much versus this. Let's go back for crit. Kill him quicker. Let's see. I might be the first one through this. Depends whether random pick move can kill him quicker than I can. With 1.5, if I get lucky crits on the last one that spawns, I might finish the level first. I technically kill my priest there quicker. Come on. Give it up. Yes! It's starting. It's beginning. It's happening. The power. Overwhelming. I'll take that extra 50 gold. Easily. That was close. I bet that was stupidly close. You dare speak to me. Uh, as punishment, I'm stuck over here. And can I not teleport over here? Give me ability to blink so I can go into other people's lanes and steal their kills. Okay, I was still interested in going for this because this does help me kill faster, whereas the other one helps me survive, so potentially. Rune Blade Cutter. Rune Blade Cutter. They both sound more expensive than I can afford right now. Cutter. That requires Claws of Attack, Sword and Recipe. So I might just go for that now, because I know what a clause of attack is. Clause of attack and sword. Sword I can't afford yet, so clause of attack. You dare speak to me. Now we've got the arena. 
Before, when we played this, we did it as a free-for-all. Well, I selected free-for-all as the option. That was a bad idea, because everyone just killed me right at the start. Now, it's a bit harder to do that, because it's one side versus the other, rather than 11 versus me. Okay, I don't mind sacrificing myself a little bit here. Because obviously I'm melee. Kill their sniper. It's a random pick move. It's moving as one. I'm going in for the kill. Could try to... Oh, the focus. I'm going for the rangers, basically. The range at the back. The pressure's on. Stealing, stealing the gold. Man, you get a lot of gold for the last hits in this. So you kind of really want to try to get the last hit if you bloody can. Damn, man. That's a good way to get a lot of gold, isn't it? Kids and fucking got tons of gold there. 150 gold is probably a bit much to get the last hits in the arena, I would say. Considering you're getting 50 gold for being the best in the wave, but you're getting 150 gold in this. Is that all? All right, we're going with the thunderclap. Easily, hardly a challenge. Is that all? We've got them on the run now. Hardly a challenge. First, damn it. Oh no, it's not happening for me. Some people must have got so far ahead there on gold. Yeah, Kitson's probably got about 600 gold more than everyone else, just from this arena level. Maybe the arena level's a bad idea then. Because that's going to completely and utterly... Im I mean, this is always going to be imbalanced. There's no way you can make an arena, hero arena, balanced. but Especially a custom hero one. I think there's three rounds in, isn't there? So I must have picked three rounds. So there's a lot of gold to get from this. Perhaps when I get stronger later on. I grow impatient. Yeah, the arena does mess this up. But I don't know if we can really stand to remake it again. We've already remade this map about three times now. Oh my god. Try not to get blown up by shit. I'll turn the colors on so it makes it a bit clearer. Who's who. I'm scumming it and hanging back. Oh no! Last hit! No! Never last hit. Feels bad, man. Come on, one last hit. None Give it to me. me. 150 gold in the bank. Kitson brings in 450 gold at least there. I haven't got enough gold for my new item. So how much gold have you got now, Kitson? More than you should do. Time to share it with the team. Are there demons nearby? Look around. Well, how do we disable Arena once you've picked it? I don't think you can disable it once you've already selected it. And we didn't know, because we've not got to this point. Hello. <laughs> the salt flows. I should have been a farmer like my father wanted. Die, fool. Oh, there's that thunderclap. The skill. I do agree that gold should have gone to the team, but 
I don't think the gold should have been anywhere near as much as it was. It was set the same amount of gold. I think it's set because it's based on maybe if you pick free for all, you get 150 gold per kill. Then you deserve 150 gold, maybe. But in a team, if you get like four of the kills, then you're getting 600 gold, whilst the other two you know, sets of gold that can go out, which aka 300 gold for the rest of your team, it makes it really um, not quite fair. I think Bash wins this. Cleave is starting to lose. I don't think you can re-pick abilities. No surprise kids in one, For now. Cause of attack, sword. You dare speak to me. Easily. Hardly a challenge. Evil draws close. Yeah, Hardly I mean, if you get what... What was it, 50 gold? Shall we say 50 gold for winning this round? And then you get 150 gold per kill on the arena. That's completely out of whack. It should be like 150 gold for this round and 50 gold for per, per kill on the arena. So it's totally the wrong way around. There are demons, nearby. There are demons my boy. You just got to suss them out. This demon over here. Need to take him out. My arch nemesis. I'm higher level as well. So... Arena is also a little bit imbalanced because if you stay alive the longest in arena, aka Kidson has done, he's a higher level than everyone else. Because if you die, you don't get experience from kills, and you obviously get experience from hero kills. So arena is basically broken in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> to think how much I was struggling when I was playing the Fairy Dragon. I had to kite these mobs and dance around them and try to get hit after hit whilst moving consistently in between. Stutter stepping is what that's called. And here I am just standing still like a noob. Being rewarded for my agility and balance. If I get a massive crit, I can kill him before Kitson does. Sebi took it. My arch nemesis! How did he manage that? I was higher level. He must have got a lucky uh, crit than my eye. You swine. Faster attack speed, maybe. The demons nearby. Yeah, it is kind of who gets the crit. The crit proc. I did take cleave because of my previous experiences on this map, aka getting surrounded by mobs because my hero was not strong enough, eventually. That's why I took cleave, as a safety precaution, just in case. But Bash was the opportune one to go for instead of cleave, in case it was single target, which it currently is. So I need this. You dare speak Plus 44 to damage. And what was the other item? Slice and dice. Rune blade. Oh my One goodness. Month. Abru Bagbu. Bagabu. Abru Bagabu. I think he's there. For this sub. He's getting 202, 193, 198, 254 for me. So as long as I get the crit, I win. I guess it kind of depends what ultimate he went for. Maybe if you proc your ultimate, if it's an active ability on the, like, the last one that spawns, you'd have to count. But if it's something like a huge damage boost and save it for the last one, so you're more likely to get the last hit. That's a good one. If that was the last Griffin, I probably would have won that. That was really good procs. <gasps> there we go. 287 crit. Skill. 50 gold in the bank. Take that. 150 gold winners in Arena. I'm getting the 50 gold. 
need that rune blade now. Rune blade, and that's called runed blade. But we're going to assume that that's the right one. I hope so. <laughs> you look somewhere else, and there actually is an item called runed blade, and another one called rune blade. And you're like, ah, oh, bugger. So oak bow, mage wand, maul of strength. What That's madness is this? Oak bow, mage wand. I'm blind. Nothing. What's the other one? Maul of strength. Oh, those three items. Ten extra strength. Oh, oak bow is agility because it's a archer thing. So that's the first one to pick up. Because that benefits me the most. Are there demons nearby? And then obviously strength and then intelligence. Can you team kill an arena? That's a good question, see, but... I don't know. We're invulnerable at the moment, but you probably can team kill. Are there demons I might want to soften kids them up. Maybe put them down to like 300 health so he looks a much easier target to be picked off. I, grow I never say nee. I never say nee. That thunder god. Vengeance is mine. <laughs> Your regret approaches me. Even in team games, I still try to solo it. That's true. I don't deny it. I am a solo player in many, many ways. It's part of the greed. He's attacking beautifully fast. Endurance Aura. Priestess of the Moon. Tougher hero to pull off, but still agility. Torrin Chaitan. Nice, awesome tank. Bit slower to kill, but just amazing. Look at him. He's got full health. Uh, I kind of want to see what everyone else is doing. Alchemist actually slugging it. Suffering a little bit here. Sobe Mask pickups. Is that because of the Transmute build? He's gone for Transmute, I think, and he's trying to get as much gold back, so he almost wants to drag it out. So theoretically, he could get more gold than the winner if he gets at least two to three Transmutes off. Because you get Transmute gives you the same amount of gold you would get from one kill. So if he got 15 gold for killing a knight, you get 15 gold for the Transmute. But at this stage, you get more than 15 gold per kill. I wasn't counting how much, but yeah, he's buying time until the next Transmute, you can see. One point two K. It does actually increase, but only by a little bit per level, because there's five levels you can put into it, but it was a bit strange because some of the levels were like Brilliant Sora, for example. Level four Brilliant Sora was free mana per second. Level five Brilliant Sora was free mana per second. So it's like, well why would I bother putting another point in it? Because it's already as good as it can be. So, unless it's like a tiny difference, like 3 mana per second, and the next one's like 3.45 mana per second, but it just counts it as 3. Not 100% sure. So some of this stuff is a bit strange. Alright, Oak Bow. Luckily, I can just about afford it for that last hit. I think we get Arena every 5 rounds, is it? So we're round 9. Should be around here. Oh no, it's Arena now. Easily. Hardly a challenge. Oh, I can't TK. Easily. My hero just stands there. Hardly a challenge. Evil drugs. Is that all? Send the Tauron Chieftain in first. He's a tanky fella. Is that all? First blood. Fucking Kitson. Fucking 
majesty is mine. None may Fuck's sake. Me. So scummy. Like he's got four of them. Five of them. He gets five of the kills. I'm pretty sure. Four or five. <sighs> Honestly, hang on. <laughs> like kids and die. I grow impatient. Is that all? We give them permission to get at least get the kill on kids and. He's still gonna fucking kill half of them before he goes down. Okay, there we go. Right. Now we play. Hardly a challenge. Come here. Is that all? You just wind walked. I thought there wasn't a wind walk ability. But you just did it. I'm blind, not dead. Here we go, last hit ink. I'll never last hit. I'll never get I'll never get kills in this. If you play this, don't do arena. Unless you go in a ranged dwarven sniper. Is that all? I'm hoping that the waves get strong enough that maybe I'm the only one that can survive them. <laughs> get saved by the goblin landmine there. Alright, I'm going. This guy's suspicious guy. No, I'm going back now because it's three of you. One at a time, lads. One at a time. Did I just get knocked out of the arena? Okay, it puts me in the middle again. Yes! Go! Some gold, anyway. Team 1 wins every single time, so... In the grand scheme of things, this is really not fair for Team 2, because they basically will never win. Like I say, the level disparity is also a big issue here. I'm blind, not deaf. So... Yeah. Had I known, I would have changed the arena situation. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're stuck with it now. But yeah, maybe have one arena, but have it only one every five levels, or maybe even every ten levels. Or just not at all. It is kind of fun. I wish it was for much less gold, though. It should just be for fun, because it's clearly not going to be a balanced issue. Whereas the waves is something more... You can control the waves a little bit more. But the arena, you can't control that, because that's sort of like team mayhem. So that should just be more for fun. I'm attacking so stupidly fast now already. Goodness knows what happens when I get even more agility. It will only go up to so much attack speed, though, because that's the way Warcraft 3 works. There is a hard cap. And the faster your attack speed, base attack speed of your hero, so mine being 1.50, means it's easier for me to reach the cap. So all of these attack speed items, or every bit of agility that increases my attack speed, won't actually have much of an impact on my attack speed anymore. It will get capped. No deal. My last peon took. Easily. I got no procs on anything. Take your time. Look around. Cap can be removed though. I'm oh, I see. But what's the chances that the map creator actually did change the cap, or actually just left it as Blizzard have made it a standard? You won't know, will you? You can't really know something like that. You dare speak to me? Hardly a challenge. How many rounds are there? Because it could go a little bit faster, to be honest. 
I always think everything could go faster though. We came off a custom TD, Pyro Isn't TD, which I thought was really, really, really boring. The concept was good, but it was super slow. Is could be like 500% faster and it'd probably be about the right speed. Maybe faster than that. So playing it at like 100% speed instead of 500% speed meant that it was not much to do. And everyone's still salty about that in the chat. Because I was going for gold. Is that all? It was boring. Even if I went for other towers, it's boring because there's Is no control. All? Hardly a challenge. It's too slow. Evil it was, took too long to get anything done. Easily. It should have just been one small line that the creeps go through. Instead it was like... For every single fucking wave. I grow impatient. And then... You have a wave where the creeps fight each other. A wave, yeah, where the teams fight each other. So then you have to wait for that to be over. Jesus, that thunder. This <laughs> cleave is useless now, isn't it? What's the chances of me ever fighting versus more than one mob? Apart from at the very start. If I get no procs, it's a chance that I might get one hit on Cleave. I think a Pyro TD should be, um, you know, like eight players, and each player fights for themselves. I think it's boring as a team game. Oh, that's a good proc, but it's not the last one. That's a very good prop, but it's still not the last one. Damn it. I have no idea how I could kill that fast. Is that all? Easily. Do you get a bunch of lives back from killing in Arena, Ben? Looks like it. So they're going to be dead in a few levels time. Arena is going to kill them off. So Arena is broken in this for so many more reasons than I even realized. And I already named quite a few. Oh, that's... That's so silly. I had no idea that Arena was going to be this messed up. Speak to me. Can I help you? I'm blind See if I have time death. to get my item in time. I only need another thousand gold before you're all dead. Hardly a challenge. The PvP should be a tournament type. One versus one later. Yeah. You'd think it would be anyway in a custom hero. I mean, I did select it as a team. But I don't know. Maybe there was a version. Let's have a look at the... um. Normal. You fight against everyone in this one. This is it. All in the team will fight the other team. Random player from every team will battle in the arena. Ah, so that's like a duel, a specific duel, a one versus one. So if the chosen player dies, hold time, loses five lives, and if he kills someone, he gets five lives for the team. As usual, the killer gets the gold for every kill and first blood, but also the team will get gold. And then elite duel, the player with the most lives left is chosen to fight, so whoever has the most lives is always going to fight in the arena, so that's not very good. You want other people to have a go. If you like, by type and repick. Oh no, hang on a second. As always, the killer gets some gold. So the team modes still aren't that good. The, the arena just, there doesn't seem to be a fix for it to make it... Just how about no gold or something? I don't know. Get extra lives, but no gold. There's just too many ways to get ahead of the other team. In Arena. And this could be faster. Like, just like um, that Pyro TD, this could be like 200%, 300% faster. Like, I wouldn't mind it. Like, I have normal mode, but I have an option where you, you just go wave after wave, and you have like... 15 seconds in between each round, round to pick items. Can I help you? 
Because once you know the map, you'll know which items you want to go for anyway, so you don't need time to sit around waiting for the next level. Hardly a challenge. Evil draws close. Is that all? No kitchen. Evil draws close. Zero rounds. Is that all? I blame Kitson. Stealing all the last hits. Basically stealing from his team. Kitson's an anti team player. I try to do everything for the team and Kitson just takes it away. Hardly a challenge. Is that all? Evil draws close. You're annoying Hardly my a challenge. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Hardly a challenge. Die. You're great approaching me. Hardly a challenge. I don't think you have a choice, Sonus. The next arena, you guys are dead. Look at your lives. Kitson's taking them all. It's like a vampire. That thunderclap proc at the very split second when a mob comes through is so nice. No one won this level? Easily. Give me a Shanta's kills. Did it say anyone won this? Because I didn't catch it if it did. Hardly a challenge. Evil draws close. Hardly a challenge. Easily. Evil draws close. Don't question Hardly me, pound. I should have taken blink. Yeah. Well, I don't think we had... Bl there was um, a, a, a blink strike, which allows you to blink to a specific unit, but obviously you'd have to be in range, and that's probably too far to you blink over. But, yeah, totally would have done. Ashanta, we can do this again, and you can deliberately leak kills, and then I can teleport over into your lane and get the kills. And we can sort of team together to make me even more unbalanced than Kitson. Easily. Hardly a challenge. Well, that's a big lad. Well, I guess that's the Demon Lord. Fun and interactive. Right? Kidson's time to shine. We're now in the underground arena. So that's nice. We've got a different one. So, impales go off. That looks awesome. Oh, that's so cool. It's hard to move around, but it's fun. Why couldn't we have this during waves? <laughs> I like this. Yes! No! That's freaking awesome, that is. Minus three for Death Knight. You should really... <laughs> There's still another two arena levels. So, yeah. There might be like three players left. Has no chances left. He can stay and watch the rest or leave. Oh, my goodness. I'm blind. Kind of no point. We'll bring this to an end now.
we'll end your suffering because it's not going to get easier. I'd almost just go the extra stats at this stage over the cleave. I'm going to see if I can get in there and take one of them out. Easily. Hardly challenge. I'm blind, not deaf. Random pick noob for making us play Pyro TD. Oh, that's cheating. So close. I could have sworn Windwalk wasn't an available ability. But I must be incorrect. I don't know about you, but I don't see it amongst these. So maybe it was an ultimate ability. Okay. We'll call GG here. Because it's kind of silly. Because three players, well, two of them are definitely dead and one's almost out. So, yeah. I mean, it's a good bit of fun. And you can obviously say, well, it requires balancing. Well, doesn't all Hero Arena maps require balancing? Yes, they do. And there's probably some easy things you could do to make this fairer. Such as not pick Arena. And make it so that... I don't know, the waves is a bit more interesting. Because once you get... I mean, it's my fault for going like a standard boring hero, but if I don't, I get something like the fairy dragon like I did last time and I end up getting killed. So, yeah, you can make this a bit more... Have them all spawn at one time or something, but then maybe AoE will be too powerful. It's hard to balance. I, I, I haven't got a good answer for you, but I'm sure there's something you could do. Okie doke. Thank you very much for watching. That brings us to the conclusion of... Custom Hero Arena Survival. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.